And all have been straight games wins for Lizzie Jia, Wang Tuyi, and Chen Jia. Now we move into the mixed doubles. Tom Jekyll and Delphine Delru of France take on Germany's Mark Lamsfuss and Isabel Lohau. This one could be a lot closer than the preceding three that we've had here in court one. So we've got on that side of the draw, Sung and Go, Watanabe and Higashino, the third seeds, they will play the winner of this match here between Jekyll Del Rue. Lamsfus and Lohau in the quarterfinals. Our Prince Wilson, Tom Kikwa, Delphin Delu, France. How do you see this one going? Because there's a, obviously a lot of familiarity with these opponents. Yeah, uh, this is um, this is going to be very interesting. Um, and I'm, I don't have a, a really um, a good prediction here. I'm really looking forward to see this match. Uh, Shikel and uh, Delroy did so well last week. Yeah. Yeah, a bit of a fairy tale run, wasn't it, for Shikel and Delroy yeah. in the Masters, getting all the way to the final, or losing to the very accomplished pair of Tung Tsui Wei and Huang Ya Tiong, in what ended up being a, a fairly one-sided final but that will be just a tremendous boost to the, the French pair to be able to beat Poivre Ranocro and Teratanachai in your opening match of that tournament yeah that was that was uh, amazing they did play well in uh, 2020 here where they had the breakthrough in this arena also beat the ties in that tournament, and uh, was stopped in the semi final. Well, by the way, Pavel Ranocker and Taratanich are out You'll again early on here in this one. At the uh, open. Choice. So they have met four times. The, the last side. was just uh, a few weeks ago. Well, not that long ago. I'm sorry. You've been touched. Not that long ago, but. And it was the Germans who won that one. That's their only victory. End of April, that was, the European Championships. They won in three. All other wins have been with Jekyll and Delru. But surely after what they did last week, they will be the favourites here. So, Tom Jekyll, 23 years of age, 186 centimetres tall, playing his best badminton at the moment, 10th in the world with his partner, Delphine Delru. Delru also 23 years of age, 171 centimetres tall. He's got a bronze in the European Games, silver in the European Championships earlier this year. And we'll get gold in the European uh, Mediterranean Games. Fares and Lima were their opponents, and they beat them in under half an hour. Shaquille and Delru. They've uh, won a couple of titles together, Olio Masters in 2019 and the Swiss Open last year. Mark Lamsfus, 28, sort of 186 around the same height as Jaquel. Currently 12th in the world, his best has been 10. That was with Lohau and that was in uh, June of 2018, so four years ago. Lohau, 30 now. 166 centimeters tall. Ready to play. And uh, together, they've won the European Championships not too long ago. 
They had a tougher time in the first round, beating the Indonesian pair of Kusha Janto and Kusumawati in three. The mixed team championships have got a silver. Here's Daniel Wolf of Austria. Strong European flavor for this one. And we saw him earlier, Latif Jahari of Indonesia, the service judge. Isabel, can you just put the strap inside, please? In terms of uh, BWF titles, together they've won the Swiss Open in 2018, the Denmark Open in uh, 2020, which is a uh, Super 750, but that was during the pandemic. Yeah, so it was Ladies pretty and much a European tournament. On my right, Correct, yeah. Mark Lamsfus and Isabel no Lohau, Germany. Step in the mixed old discipline. Mm. Did win the Swiss Open earlier this year. Beat Gorsen Watt and Siobhan Jamie Light. Tom Schickel and Delphine Delrue, France. As uh, Steve said, this could be a really tight one. Let's see how this one pans out. Isabel Lohau to serve, to Tom Jekyll. Lovely Lovell. to serve. Play. What was it for you, Steve, that Jaquel Del Rue, that really saw them through that tournament last, last week? Well, I think um, we've seen um, Jaquel and Del Rue sort of um, improve towards the Olympics. Uh, Jaquel got injured ahead of uh, that Three. tournament, um, uh, Denmark Open, I think it was in 2020. Uh, rolled his angle, getting back. Uh, so, so they've been building up to the Olympics, and now they've sort of like regrouped and start looking forward to to what's coming next. And um, I think he's back. Tom Schickel is back to to good form. He's uh, a traditional mixed doubles player. Good uh, controlling skills. Good game reading skills. Good tactically from the back court, and uh, I also think that Delphine de Rue did really well um, last week. Um, strong at the net, um, reasonable defense um, for World Tour standards, good for European standards, uh, and uh, I think they're going to be challenged here because they, they play um, Lamsfus and Herzog who knows them One. very well and, and uh, knows what they want them to do and what they don't want them to do. <laughs> but that also goes the other way around. And, and I mean, the French pair has the head-to-head -head advantage. Yes. Um, so I don't know if the Germans see themselves as small favorites, but but um, Two, four. Um, they, sh they should sort of confirm their European title in this match here, mm. and that can sometimes be difficult because when you lose a match, very often you have a chance to learn more than your opponent uh, from that experience. I seem to recall the European Championship that um, Lohau started out not so strong in that match, but then played herself into it, and, uh, and Lamsfus sort of kept them in for a while. But um, in the third game, Lohau really upped her game as well. So. It, it, it's going to be Three, a battle to four, to um, get the opponents off their feet and um, mm. try to exploit who uh, is perhaps having a, a not so uh, good day and and setting it up. And there's going to be a battle for the uh, attack on, on the front court, mm. uh, no doubt about it, or the control in the first hand. Very steep in his uh, smashes. Uh, 
Mark Lumps was. Three. That's not Five. always um, okay. what we see from uh, Shikel. He, he's got a good smash, but it's quite often a bit more flat than um, than um, Lumps Fuss's. Yeah, Lumps was, of course, a very accomplished uh, men's doubles player as well. Yeah. 13th in the world at the moment, Marvin Seidel. Double European champion. Yeah. Uh, Thought your Danish boys would have given a, a bit of a fight there, over. Steve. In the European uh, Championships. Four, they withdrew, actually. Yeah. Um, Kim was not, Kim Astrup was not um, fully fit. Mm. They always have a, a fierce battle. But uh, it's one of not ready. so many players playing both categories, mm. uh, Mark Lamsfuss. Yes, to that level as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's all you tell us in the up until the Olympics, over. do it at the highest level. Six. I think right now Four. it's Sir Sung Jae, the Korean, yeah, who is um, the highest ranked in terms of playing two disciplines. It's just not an easy thing to do, is it? No, because even though it's both doubles categories, the um, required skills have beginning to um, sort of drift apart. Right. Oi! Wonderful. That was <laughs> Wonderful reaction. An awful return there, but it <laughs> ended up really, really efficient. Are you okay? Oh, did she hurt herself? Oh, no. dear. She hurt herself, yeah. I don't think so. I just think she's annoyed. <laughs> Look at that. What a return. <laughs> Seven, four. It was awkward. Yeah. For Del Rue. Ex expand on that okay. for us, uh, Steen, on the, on the sort of different skill sets required now in mixed and. and yeah. And doubles. In, in, uh, it, it's easiest, easiest to explain for um, for the female players the, the difference between mixed and women's doubles. I mean, in women's doubles, uh, you've got to be extremely strong uh, on the back court. You've got to be uh, oriented backwards because it's very Seven, hard to sort of um, set up a net player to kill it in women's doubles right. like you do in the mixed. It's a lot of lifts, isn't it? A lot of clears, right. sorry. Yeah, you, a lot of attack and hard work from the um, from the um, two thirds uh, that is not front court. Yeah, and it's a little bit similar in um, in men's doubles. Um, you've got um, in, in the mixed your your defense is perhaps not so um, five seven important as in in men's doubles, but. I mean, the obvious thing is they serve from two different positions. Right. Um, and you've got to be able to play the front court well as a, um, as a, a men's doubles player. That's not really necessary as a mixed doubles player. It's nice if you, if you can, but... Uh, Six, seven. And it becomes then... <laughs> so it's not totally correct what I said because it becomes increasingly more important that you can also play the front court in mixed doubles, but mixed you, doubles, have, right. you have a, a female player who is physically weaker on the other side, so you can target, target uh, her. her when you're at the front court. That's not the case in men's doubles. It's yep. really fast. Service Lots of flat game. Fast Eight. paced in men's doubles, Six. not too much of it in uh, mixed or a different way of flat game, mm. more trying to find the openings, trying to find the gaps. Lumps was a low how with a two-point lead here. Service over. Frustration there Seven. for Lumps Bus. Wide there, low help. Yeah. Did well to Eight, maintain four. the pressure. She killing that Del Rick. Oh, 
So Lumsbus and Seidel, this is their first Nine. tournament Eight. together. Indonesia Open since the European Championships. Yeah, they didn't play Indonesia Masters. Mm. So it's uh, quite a big gap. Ten. Eight. And then you contrast that with uh, Garou. There's a girl, of course, who had that fairy tale run in that last tournament. Done there by Lohau. Yeah. 11, 8. Interval. Yeah. And uh, at the interval, it is Lumsbus and Lohau who go in with a three point lead in game one. Just caught some little snatches Play. there of the uh, German of the uh, German coach from Denmark. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but Louis he been um, he was very successful since he um, came to Germany. Mm. He used to um, service over. He's, he's been a Nine, coach 11. for many years in Denmark, but he has also worked with the national team as. Um, as a video analyst and um, got a lot of uh, knowledge uh, by doing that. Uh. So building up that positivity. Yeah. yeah. You've got yeah. this. You guys are playing well. And he's, uh, he's not wrong. They're playing well. really great yes. much much more valuable well, to be able to get the, the angle downwards on it mm. very difficult to uh, return and get out of the uh, defense the steeper the smash is yeah. and, uh, one of the absolute masters in that was the former Olympic champion and uh, four-time world champion from China Fu Haifeng, the left-hand men's doubles 11. player, extremely powerful 13, and steep, 10. and that was what created all the problems for his opponents. What a combination! Chai Yun. Mm. They get a little bit of help as well, the Germans, because they're playing with the drift. Yep. Oh, wonderful from Loha there. Good play. That's brilliant from uh, Tom Schickel. Service over. 11, 13. He'd done the hard work early on when he uh, played it uh, over Isabel Lohau. Got married after the Olympics. At the Olympics, she was uh, known as Isabel Hertrich. 12, 13. Good 
defense. Uh, nicely done by Lohau. Service over. Yeah. 14, 12. Not quite the steep smashes you would have wanted there. No, and, and that's the difference. That, that, that leaves counter opportunities mm. for the opponents. It's, okay. it's not always they can take it, but uh, it opens up the opportunity. So I just want to pick your brain now from a, from a coaching point of view, uh, Steen, in terms of the ability to smash from a steeper angle, a trajectory, yep. rather than a flat one. Yeah. How, how do you then sort of coach someone to do that? Or is it just that what they're more comfortable doing at the point of, of contact with the shuttle? Yeah, it, it's very often what they've started out doing as, ah. as youngsters. Um, so it's difficult to break that? For some it is, for, for others it isn't. Uh, right. Um, the uh, former Danish international, Jano Jorgensen, uh, it, it, with him it took three shots, three tries, and then he changed it. But um, mm. for others, they never get to change it. It's, it's uh, something um, interesting. Over. It's got something to do 13. with the grip. 15. With the? With the grip, the, grip. the way you grip okay. the racket. Um, and of course, the grip you have sort of has influenced the arm movement you've what? learned earlier on. And so, so it's you've so got to change it. You, right. yeah. Well, you got to be able to do both, okay. most likely. Uh, I used to tell the story about Tiger Woods, the golf player who... He, uh, he changed it quite famously, who, didn't who he? Who changed his, um, his drives because he felt that, even though he'd won an awful lot of tournaments, he felt that <laughs> it was a little bit too unstable when it was uh, windy on the golf course, so he changed it. And it took a year or so, and that, that's... Um, yeah. I, I'm really impressed by that way of thinking. Um, it's not like 14. Tom Schickel is born 15. with a flatter smash right. than, um, than uh, Mark Lumsfus. It's just something that he's what that's developed over the years, right? Maybe it's developed naturally. Ah. But if you have a coach that helps you and instructs you, then you could easily um, change it. And, and Schickel will probably also use this technical skill when he's a lot under pressure, mm. because then it helps to be... Um, sort of um, able to just flick it from uh, an overhead position, so to speak. Mm. But they're staying in it. She's killing Delray. Yep, all level now. Yeah. And they're now going bad to the lead. Bad decision, bad decision. Yep. 16, And also, great play by um, the French to sort of get Lohau to um, swing at it. Bit of a chat there between Lovesworth and Lohau. Oh, that's a total miss Service over. by uh, Shikel. On earth was 16. that? <laughs> oh. Look at this. Oh, he seemed to be two minds, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. I think you're right. He had a lot of time to play that. Yeah. Mark. Long chat again for the Germans. Great play. 17. Loha winning the net exchange against uh, Delry. And that cannot continue from a French point of view. There's a smash again. 18. A good weapon for Lumsfuss. Some quick instructions from the coach there to Lumsfuss. Hey. Hey. Nice 
what is yeah. that long I like the idea over. because you saw how uh, much pressure she killed put on the front court he was ready to move forward he was ready to help the in winning the battle on the front court so he earned the, that point because he forced the Germans to try and play the back court hey. Level again. As we thought, Steve, it's going to be tight with these guys, isn't it? Yeah. It's going to be who has the uh, qualities here when it gets close. And a little bit of luck. Service over. They've got trouble serving to uh, Mark Lamsfus, has uh, Delroy and uh, Shikel. Yeah, one pair, of course, have the momentum from last week. The other pair know that they've recently beaten the other. Looks for a fascinating encounter. And now 20. we have a couple of game points game here, the German point. pair. 18. And again, a good push by Lumsfus, who gets a little bit of help. Arrives a little bit early on the uh, French side of the court. It's going to change when they change ends. Oh, yeah, yeah. Try again to uh, play it over Shikel at the sign that they're very alert to the fact that Shikel is so good at, at covering the midcourt area. Mm. Oh, yeah. oh, well done there, Eight. the French pair. It's all level. We need to win it by two clear points yeah. now. And, and that will be a steal if they can uh, if they can take this first game here because they've been trading most of the time. Yeah. And, and you were pointing out as well that they were struggling to serve to Lumsfer, so that was a nice bonus point. For them. It was a really good serve, and then it directly resulted in a mistake from him. He tried it again. Good shot. That's great play by Tom Schickel. And now they've got the game point there first. 21, 20. Of the match. Went after Lohau there. Yeah. And that, I mean, her defense is considerably weaker. And he also got good steepness on it. Must have changed his grip, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> They've done it, Delru and Jaquel. And as Steve said, first they've been trailing throughout most of this first match game. Delroux, done well to win it. 22-20, game one. Tom Jekyll and Delphine Delroux. Folks, return to your chair. Uh, 
kick in that first game. And it was a good old battle there with Lumsbus and Lohau. Second game. And one of the things we could hear in the coaching Hello. was again uh, Jebe Lewiston really uh, trying to um, inject right. belief in his players. And I remember the European final where he really said to them that you've right. got to believe that your shots are going to be winners. <laughs> and it's like they've got excess... Um, Game is over. Um, one, love. Sort of uh, respect for this French pair. It's mm. like, oh yeah, but they're from France and they're playing good mixed doubles and so on. If they've been from Denmark or England, nobody would, would have lifted an eyebrow. <laughs> so to sort of, we, we talked about this scene, scene uh, what, what level you see yourself in, and uh, and that's. Uh, there's a lot of work on. Yeah, it's called Don't long, but uh, challenge yeah, called I, out. That certainly looked in to me from the naked eye. I'm not sure. What do you think? Uh, it was difficult. It was difficult. I uh, I probably would also have taken a challenge, but yeah. I might be wrong. I'm going for in here on this one. Yeah. Correction in. And, and actually, just going back to what you were saying about the European Championships, one, oh. when we look at that final, Jaquel and Delru won the first game, 21-16. Yeah. Yeah. And then Lance Swiss and Loha went on to win the next two, so... Still plenty in this. Good flicker. Two, one. Oh, wonderful. Wonderfully done there from Four, Tom Jekyll. Yeah. And this is uh, a great start from them. And starts with a very good flick serve. It puts pressure on Lohau. Five, one. A nice four point lead at the start of this second game for the French pair. Mark, get ready. Lots and lots of chat. This is something we saw as well in the first game. Good wide. placement there from Lohau. Service over. Two, five. Let's get on with it. Oh, oh. Again. Play again. Well done there. Yeah. Good control to the back, what we saw in the uh, final stage Six. of um, the first game, how difficult it was for Lamsfors and Lohau to play the backcourt and We've seen here how well uh, Chiquel and Del Rio has played the backcourt in the uh, early stages here in the second game. Service so over. Uh, frustration there. Three. Yeah, but it's forced Six. by uh, the good returns by Lamsfors in the first game. And she so, well, at 19.20, that was the most important of them, the one that um, got them to level in yeah. the first game. Yeah, 
maintain that four point lead here, Jaquel and Delru. Good shot. Oh, nicely done by Lumsfuss. Five, seven, pass the shuttle, Tom, pass the shuttle. Uh, yeah. Had it been in, it probably would have been an ace. Yeah. Nine. Five. Restore that four point lead. Better start for this second game from the French Bear. Well, you touched the shuttle. Well, good return there from Lumsbus. Turn is over. Six, nine. Shaquille obviously, uh, they're not satisfied. Disagrees with that. <laughs> what did he do? Is he tried to call the referee or what? <laughs> What do you think, Steve? I can't tell, but... We, we, we can't see it from here. Yeah. But... Hey. <laughs> uh, he, put, he put his racket up for a second there, as if yeah. to say, I'm challenging that. <laughs> Service over. Ten. Six. that you as a player feel perhaps was not correct. Service ball closed. Yeah. She's getting trapped every time Service on the over. flick serves. Spell Doha, unfortunately, Seven. for the French, Ten. it was for a fault. Germans first, the one where uh, Delroy was uh, called for touching the shuttle. We don't know uh, whether it was correct that the French felt it wasn't, and I've, I think if they can feel that they've touched it, I don't think they would have complained. And then the service court called, so the Germans are actually sort of still within touching distance as they go into the interval soon. They haven't played that well here in the second game. It's like the, the shock of losing the first game yeah. uh, got to them. Yeah, the lead's only been cut to one now. They they were five clear at one point. The French. Done there from Del Rue. Over, 11, and nine. They go into Interval. the interval 11 9 up for Jaquel and Del Rue. Right. 
mask and the crowd to contend with here to be able to hear what the coaches are saying. Yeah, that was impossible. <laughs> yeah. here, Baptiste Grim, a French coach, saying oui, c'est bien, and allez, and I wish I would have done. <laughs> well, I could tell what allez is. <laughs> a, a bit more in uh, the French classes in uh, school, <laughs> but um, that's good, and uh, let's go. That's all. Yeah. Lucky that call on uh, the rip. Well, nice. Yeah, that helped tumbling off the net. Easily done by Jaquel. Possible solutions for the Germans is to uh, use the long forehand corner of uh, Schickel and Delry and then put pressure on the inner sideline to of the right. It would be difficult for the French to uh, keep it inside the lines if the Germans can attack 13. to that area. But, um, at the moment, it looks like uh, they're struggling. Zamsfuss and Lohau, the European champions. with that four-point lead. Ten. In a seemingly good position here, Delroux and Jaquel. <laughs> Nicely done there by Lumsford. Third that corner. 11, 14. Puts that away. Both the French on the floor. 12, 14. Players back on court. It's going back and forth this one on the momentum, but still Thank the you. French in front. Lead is only two now. Well taken 13. by Lohan. It's a difficult return. He played there. She felt. Look how his shuttle spins. Takes the top of the tape. Had she not been that alert, it would have been almost impossible to uh, return it. Play. Let Delphine get ready quicker. Hey. Oh, lucky it tumbles shot. over. Wow. From Lohau. That's the second in a row where. 14. Oh. He basically would have uh, lost it. Yeah, they need that little bit of luck right now. 
Nothing wrong with the placement from uh, Shaquille. What a save. All level again. Twice now they've done that after being four behind, the Germans. Fourteen, all. Time low out. Over. Doesn't get it over. 15, 14. Well, she was there with the ring. She was covering well. Put pressure psychology, psychologically on Lohal. I think. Close, but I think it's out. Yeah, that's a pity. That was a great shot yeah. from uh, Tom Shikel. Idea was good, isn't it? This has got shades of the last game, except it's reversed now, isn't it? I was just thinking the same. <laughs> they could have been like 18, 12 up now. Yeah. Shikel and Delroy. Is it trading points now? Change with the business end of this second game. Service over 16 15. So. 17, 16. Wow. Well, I think the Germans, this might be the first time they've actually taken the lead in this game. So what a time to do it. Now, can they move on from here? Good shot. Oh, she read it. Know how service over after that. 17. Oh. This is so so close now, similar to what we saw in the previous game. Yeah, and here at 17 all it's nice to have the first game in the back. Mm. He's annoyed with himself, isn't he? Uh, I think he should have left that so. Would it be short? And now I see it from the side, I'm not so not sure. sure yeah. No. It was a good serve oh. by him. Del Rit. Oh. Attempted drive serve. been able to get more than a point at a time in the last few minutes. Very tight. It is good. Fantastic flicker. Challenges. Shaquille is going to challenge. 
Yeah. If he's right, then it's a great challenge. If he's not right, then they still have a little bit of a rest to clear their minds before the final push here for a win in straight games. Close as that. It is in. Successful. Worth a shout, though. One challenge remaining. Yeah. 19, 18. And now Lumsfuss and Lohau. They were here before, weren't they? Play. 19, 18 up in the last game. Play. Stays in. It's in. Yeah. It's good. There's the uh, drift alongside the court. Faster shuttle. Tom. Faster shuttle. And that's. Told you pass the shuttle. Two game points. Pass it. Tom. Pass the shuttle. Okay. Pass it. <laughs> Four times. Told to pass 20. it. Yeah, but game point. Think... The first time you tell the player to return the shuttle and they don't do it, then you don't say return the next time. Just warning from yeah. your skin. Down. Straight away. Fair point. Now, two game points here for the Germans. One save. <laughs> oh, boy. She, she cannot go for those shots, Lohau. They're, they're going past her, and every time she's going for it, she's creating a bad situation for her and uh, Lamsfuss. Got to focus on what's in front of her. <laughs> That's a good one. Brilliant. He managed to move. 20 oh, Mark. Mark. with an ace. Last week, Matthias Christensen was very alert to the fact that um, play on. Play on. Shikel tends to serve very fast when you look up, but you can just be ready. You can go and be ready from the beginning before he starts to get ready. Then you're out of that problem. Once again, we're at 20 all. He did win it by two clear points, over. but it's the Change. Germans Change. who have their third game point here. 20. By two clear points out. Yeah. Now she needs to produce a good serve again. And she does. Low house delivers. Turns over. 22 21. Fourth game point. Save this. What is? Oh, oh you, dear! Hey. The first one she saved the room. That was amazing. Second What's game. On there? The I think we see her lying around the on the front wall. court all the time. 23, <laughs> 21. One so, game off. as we thought, this is now going to the rubber. It has been very tight in both those games. She had the opportunity there, didn't she? Just 
Port 1, 20 seconds. Port 1, 20 seconds. Players on court. I picked up something there in the French, something about on the back. Yes. That's <laughs> plenty, yeah. Yeah, that's my, my uh, French classes there. So pass, pass on pass derrière, something like that. And the, 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 the funny thing was Final that game. it was the same message that uh, Yeba Dusen had to his players. <laughs> Just lift it. <laughs> Love uh, all. And he realizes that it, it doesn't feel good to lift it. But play. I mean, both are correct. You need to play the full court, otherwise you're at a disadvantage if your opponent dares to play the full court. Right. First match of the day here on court one that has gone to three. One, stop. So, Steve, it was interesting because both the first two games were almost mirror images of each other, weren't they? With the Germans dominating the first, the French dominating the second, and yet it went in favour of the other team. It just shows <laughs> the uh, psychology between these two pairs here. Basically, uh, basically, sort of, you could say the underdogs are the favourites if you're behind in the game, but only a little, then uh, yeah. it's, it's like you sort of up your own games and come on now, we've got to do this. Good, as we uh, thought it might be. Close. Very good contest. If I, if I were the French, I would direct a lot more uh, of the action towards Isabel Lohal because uh, she's not reached the level she reached at the European final, right. at least not yet. And um, I think she's a little bit uh, late on uh, on a lot of shots. Mm. And of course, you can get away with it, but not in the long run. I don't think so. Two, three. Play the back court. Lumsfuss and Doha. Only way to create space for themselves on the uh, front court, mid court area. Wait, that was wide. Really good there from Doha. Excellent play by the route. Service over. Four, three.
Oh, he was on her knees. Low, low health, Change. difficult. Yeah. Five, three. He's really good. Yeah. They are really good at maintaining the attack. Delphine. Delphine. And uh, she killed when they first Don't get it. Delphine, can you remove the better, please? Thank you. Five, three. Take a new one, Mark, Mark, Mark. Take a new one. Okay. Thank you. Service over. Four, five. Flipping the net there, that one, keeping it alive. Oh. Oh, finally puts it away there, Lumpus. Five, oh. And Terry taking her spot on the front board again there. <laughs> so, Steve, we've seen a kind of two topsy turvy oh. games. Yeah. Where, how do you think this third one is? I mean, because it's level at the moment. Yeah, I have no it's idea. It's difficult, isn't it? I have no Steve. idea. It doesn't seem to be able to tip from uh, point to point. Mm. Yeah. Five, all. Play. It's gone long. Service over. No one able to really dominate this third Five. game yet. I mean, no one has managed to put themselves behind yet so that they can make this comeback. <laughs> That's the psychology yeah, of it, right? <laughs> exactly. We've got to fall more behind, otherwise we can't win. <laughs> Again, hesitation. Seven, would, you, would you say, Steve, this has five. been one of the more tactical battles we've seen today? Yes. It definitely has. No surprises then that this is the first one that has gone to three. Eight, five. Well. There's a lead here for Jaquel and Del Rue, but as Steen has mentioned, don't read too much into that right now, the way things have been going. But, uh, yeah, now I, I get to think about it, I actually think it becomes decisive. Oh, well done. Was brilliant from him. Chance set for Del Rue. Service over. And then six. All four players eight. wanted to play the back court there. So totally different rally. that one hey. 
Yes. But it's where Tom Kittel is so good. A little above Nine, the tape in the midcourt area. Creates his own lock. And Lamsfors falls for the uh, trap. And plays back at the midcourt area. Reaching for that one. Ten. Six. The lead is four again for the French pair. And this was where the Germans got a couple of lucky points in the second game. Service fault called too high. Another service fault called at over. exactly the same time, 6 10 in the uh, <laughs> third. That also okay. happened at 6 10 in the yeah, uh, second. Seven, wow. ten. Deja vu. Only at six ten, he's lifting it a little bit. Play. We got absolutely nothing there. No, Steve. No. <laughs> Eleven eight. Play. Good. Advantage. Did you come in there, Rick? didn't play this court yesterday, they played on an adjacent to the left. And uh, maybe the uh, side drift is different on uh, that one. Uh, yes, and this one here, they really needed to win that point. I'm sure it's over. Uh, I feel that she can and has a little bit of an advantage well. because when you're down 11 8 as Lamsus and Doha are, you, you can't afford to lose the first two rallies pretty much. Then it's a five point de a deficit. And it's really, really hard to um, catch up on. Yeah. Use your shoe. Use your shoe, please. Thank you. Nine, twelve. Over. Back to that four-point lead. Nine. Clipping the net there from Lanswiss. It was over. On the floor again. 
10, 13. Steve is not uh, a fan 13. of that. Hit a knee, unfortunately. On court. And that's exactly the, that's the risk of sort of sacrificing yourself on the front court. They're still uh, scratching there. 10, 13. 15. I think I like the idea from the Germans of, um, of flicking. Seems like when they play a crammed game on the front court, they're nearly exchanging points. Biggest lead they've had in this game. The French, five points. Comes at a good time. And they press on. And finish this off. Looking good here. Uh, they've done a good job in the service situation, uh, Shaquille and uh, Delray. Good pictures here, so we can see this um, flat game where you're playing from, what kind of options you have. Play. Much better options if you're playing from just around the tape level. Looking very 17, difficult for Lumsless and Lohau. They're in very good run of points here for the French pair. in a row here. This is Karim, the French coach. Out. Well, we saw that was over. in the first game, didn't we, from Del Rue? Thank you. 11, 18. They desperately needed a point there. He's now trying to break that momentum. Excellent play. Back to get put away by Del Rue. Uh, Third is over. It's clear that Tom Chiquel plays. The first clear he plays does the trick. Instead of 11. attacking, it's earlier in the rally here, but instead of attacking on the first shot where the Germans are ready, he gets them out of position and then he gets a much better opportunity. Uh, in the 
following shot. And they are almost there. Nine 20. game point, match, match points point for Jaquel and Del Rue. It's been excellent for them in the last few minutes. What a winner that is! From Delphine Del Rue. And they have exacted revenge from the European Championships. They lost to this very pair in the final. But Del Rue and Jaquel have eliminated the European champions. They live to see another day here in Red Indonesia where they've had a great time. 22-20, 21-23. 21, 11. Wonderful shot there to win it from Delphi and Del Rue. So Tom Jekyll and Delphi and Del Rue of France beat Germany's Mark Lamsbus and Isabel Lohau. 22-20, 21-23, 21-11 in 70 minutes. We're into our fifth uh, match of this session, and it's a big one in terms of at least the player there on the left-hand side, world number one, Victor Axelsson. <laughs> 